The discipline to stay strong and not succumb to temptation from junk food must come from within. A lot of people say that the belly fat or love handles that you have can never be reduced. I'm here to tell you that this is wrong. By clicking on this video, I am assuming you want to know the five best ways you can get rid of belly fat before the summer. And I'm going to give it to you along with a list of ways you can go about obtaining it. This brings me to point number one, drink more water. A study by the Johns Hopkins University helps showcase the importance and link between drinking water and how it does more for the body than just quench your thirst. There is nothing better than water. In fact, as soon as you wake up in the morning, even before brushing your teeth, I recommend drinking warm water. Don't add anything to this water and drink it plain. This will be a zero calorie drink and you might think it's nothing fancy, but drinking water has a variety of benefits for our body. Drinking warm water helps to increase the temperature of our body, which helps increase our metabolism. Drinking 500 milliliters of water has been proven to increase the metabolic rate by 30%, and raising your water temperature to 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit or 37 degrees Celsius accounts for 40% of the increase in metabolism. By increasing our metabolism, our bodies start to break down the fat storage we have at a much faster rate, which leads to reduced belly fat. By drinking warm water as soon as you wake up, you ensure that you not only restore water levels in the body, but that you improve the digestive system. This would ensure that you have a nice, clean stomach first thing in the morning. Having a big belly doesn't necessarily mean that it is all fat. There are huge lumps of digestive waste lying within our bodies too, and drinking warm water helps to assimilate it. This will help reduce that belly fat. I recommend drinking at least one glass of warm water early in the morning. How hot you want this water to be is up to you, but it is recommended to keep the water temperature below 65 degrees Celsius to prevent scalds and burns. Additionally, a study by Harvard Medical School found that almost any non-alcoholic beverage when consumed at temperatures above 150 degrees Fahrenheit or 65 degrees Celsius may contribute to the risk of esophageal cancer. You might think this refers to teas and coffees, but no, this refers to hot water too. So I recommend that you're better off playing it safe. Additionally, drinking warm water between meals like breakfast and lunch or lunch and dinner helps reduce the feeling of hunger that you may feel. A lot of the times when we do feel hungry between meals, it can be said that it is because of dehydration. By drinking water between meals, your stomach will have a feeling of fullness which will prevent unnecessary junk food from being eaten and calories being saved. In the long run, this will help to reduce overall fat levels and maintain a caloric deficit. This leads me to number two, ensure you have a balanced diet. This might seem like an obvious point, but focusing on the specific foods you are eating and cutting out the crap can do wonders. Don't get me wrong, I am not saying never to indulge and eat junk food, but make sure not to overindulge and let it start affecting body fat levels. Avoiding fried food is something I recommend as the effects of these foods can be felt on the stomach within 24 hours. Eating deep fried foods causes the body's metabolism to dramatically worsen. A slow metabolism burns fewer calories, which would mean that more fat would be stored in the body. If that wasn't bad enough, Eating fried foods has been proven to lead to increased oil production in the skin of something called sebum. While some sebum is necessary, eating fried food results in more oil on your skin, which thereby results in increased breakouts and acne. Furthermore, deep fried foods, especially the ones made in fast food stores, not only use refined oils, but keep on reusing the same oil for hours on end. Repeated studies have found that oil should not be reused more than a couple of times as reusing oils so much so that it ends up crossing its smoke point leads to the creation of trans fats. A different article published by Harvard Medical School helps shine more light on the seriousness of this situation, as it says that trans fats have no known health benefits and that there is no safe level of consumption. Trans fats also block the arteries and are terrible for the body, especially if you want to lose belly fat. This is why, like I mentioned already, it is imperative to avoid junk foods and focus on having a balanced diet consisting of whole foods instead. Whole foods, according to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, are natural unprocessed foods such as fruits or vegetables. 
Whole foods are good for you as they often contain a lot of fiber, which ensures that your blood sugar levels do not rise. This is why refined foods like breakfast cereals, biscuits, and pastries are terrible for your body as they often stick to your stomach. I'm not saying to completely replace your meals with only things like fruits and vegetables. Too much of a good thing is still bad. But what I am saying is to focus on eating a balanced diet and to replace the junk foods you are currently eating with a low-calorie, healthier alternative, which will not only make you feel better, but it will help you lose that belly fat a lot faster. So far, I have told you about two of the ways you can lose belly fat before summer. I have three more steps that I am going to get into. But before getting into that, I would very much appreciate it if you would drop a like on this video, if you're finding this video useful and subscribe to this channel for more content about your physical and mental health. Thank you. This now brings me to step number three, waving goodbye to refined sugars. I have already mentioned the importance of avoiding refined foods and refined oils, and when it comes to refined sugars, the jury is no different. If you see the word refined, you're better off turning around and running the other way. This is like a walking red flag. I will use fizzy drinks as an example here. There is no doubt that the sweet taste of fizzy drinks and the carbonation of the bubbles do feel delicious on the tongue. But these drinks have no nutritional benefits for our bodies and are loaded with sugar. A small, typical 330 ml can of Coke contains between 35 and 40 grams of sugar. At this point, you would be better off eating a chocolate cake because, by doing so, you would at least get the benefits of some macronutrients like protein from the egg and milk in the batter. Studies consider sugar to be one of the biggest reasons for high belly fat, and a study by the University of Toronto helped prove that sugar-sweetened beverages ultimately promote weight gain in children and adults. This is because these refined sugars offer no nutritional value to our body, which is why they don't get absorbed. Due to this, the insulin levels in our body get spiked, which catastrophically increases fat levels. So while these desserts and fizzy drinks are tasty, it's important to consider the bigger picture and remember that it's a moment on the lips and forever on the hips. This brings me to number four. Don't eat anything after 7 p.m. There's a very good reason I say this, and I truly believe this tip is a game changer and will definitely help you reduce your belly fat. As the sun starts to set, the metabolism in our bodies starts to slow down exponentially. The slow metabolism is the main reason why belly fat levels increase, and eating past 7 p.m. means that our body isn't able to utilize and digest the nutrients from our food properly. Doing this once or twice as a one-off is excusable, but doing this daily leads to an increased storage of fat in our body, especially in the areas around the stomach. If you are struggling with belly fat, this is something I recommend you incorporate into your daily routine. This can be implemented with the idea of intermittent fasting, where you ensure you not only focus on what you eat, but also when you eat it. Eating during specific times and forcing yourself to not eat outside a specific window helps to increase insulin levels in the body, which starts to affect belly fat levels almost immediately. Try doing this for two to three days to start with, and you will start feeling the difference straight away. This brings me to point number five. Eat more protein. There's a reason why I saved this tip till the very end. I truly believe that there are many people out there who still don't realize the benefits a high-protein diet can have. Protein is extremely helpful when it comes to fat loss, as protein is a slow-digesting macronutrient. This is why eating foods that are high in protein often acts like a satiety aid for our body. What this means is that eating protein-rich foods helps you feel fuller for longer, which further decreases the likelihood that you are going to overeat on cravings. Eating more protein will also help to improve our body's metabolism, which results in greater fat loss. Great sources of protein include dairy products like milk and cheese, eggs, meats and fish, as well as legumes like lentils and beans. For an average adult, it is recommended to eat one gram of protein per one kilogram of body weight. So, for example, if you are a man who weighs 75 kilograms, you must make sure to get at least 75 grams of protein in a day. Make sure to match this according to your body weight, and if you are overweight, try eating the amount of protein of your target weight instead. By making a conscious effort to eat a higher amount of protein in your diet, you not only ensure that you reduce your craving for junk food, 
but that you start shedding off that excess fat too. If you follow these five steps consistently, over time, you might even start looking like this. So now that you know how to lose belly fat before summer by ensuring you avoid things that are bad for you, you need to start eating a diet that is balanced and high in protein. And there's a perfect list of foods that I have found that will greatly enhance your fat loss journey. Do you know about the five high protein foods you should eat every day? To learn more about this, press here on the screen to watch.